Hi guys, welcome to part 10 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Extremely good news. I finally received the micro LEDs, the invisible, almost invisible LEDs that will allow me to build Rebecca's walking stick, glowing walking stick or stuff, if you prefer. <laughs> but I'm still in dispute oh, with the seller. Mm -mm. Then, then I will show you a new house, guys, because last time uh, the, uh, the second blue roofed house appeared on the layout. This part 10 will welcome the second uh, house from the right side and it is another residential house. Then, then I will finally show you what my stupidity forgot to show you during part 9, the carriage that everyone has guessed uh, in some, just in some seconds what it will be about and that will be part of the third team section but I will not go ahead with that section because it is quickly done, it is very quickly done. Then some updates on the second team section and then some other things but mainly I will need to anticipate a little the gathering. What is the gathering? I call the gathering when I uh, take out from every closet, every store my uh, Lemax uh, building collection and try to find a place for each and single of them. Not always possible to accommodate all of them. And this season I will try to uh, accommodate the mandatory building right now. What are the Lemax mandatory buildings? The stores. Because with the amount of residential houses I built for the right side and the left side, uh, I will only miss the uh, stores, the, uh, not only the stores, but maybe a school, a church, and everything like that. But I will not use, right now, this is my intention, the residential uh, buildings from Lemax or other <laughs> producers or other uh, brands because no I will not tell you anything more than that just that Lemax will not be the only brand present on my Lemax Christmas Village this season this 2024 season and then then maybe some other things but right now I will zip my mouth and get to work. You already know guys how often I have criticized Lemax during the recent months and years due to the fact that I seriously believe that their collections, their productions have tremendously diminished in quality, in overall quality, in design quality and I don't think I am the only one out there who has the same opinion and for that I constantly feel the pressure of some hitman hired by Lemax on my back but you also know that I've always said that I love all the productions of, from uh, Lemax, uh, especially up until 2018. And that I'm continuously in search for good looking items, buildings, figurines uh, to acquire. The problem, the perfect items, the good looking items, the good buildings are generally sold on ebay.com nowadays. The majority of them are sold on ebay.com and ebay.com is not eBay Italy or eBay France or any European eBay simply because uh, good 
buildings, good items, are from an era, let me call it an era, the first years of the new millennium, where Lemax was not that known that in Europe, except from um, Netherlands and some other small um, niche uh, countries. But the rest of the Europe, Italy, Spain, France, mm -mm, it wasn't like that. So if I want to acquire something, I have to search on ebay.com. And the problem is the price, not the item's price that generally is correct. It is due to the fact that some items may be rare or not rare. But the shipping fees and the duties, the import fees from the US to Europe, it's always much higher those uh, sorry those two fees the shipping cost and the import duty, duties are always higher together than the price of the the item that's why i can't acquire i can't spend a fortune on some items if i consider the overall price to elevate it for, uh, for uh, an item. But sometimes I can't avoid uh, to get my hands on something that is very precious because it is very rare. Uh, three weeks ago, I spotted on eBay.com a building that I couldn't, I couldn't let it go. It is from Lemax, obviously. It is from 2003 collection. And the overall price, item plus, plus all the fees, was correct. Especially because the seller, that it is a seller from Texas, was an extremely honest was extremely honest because he could have asked much more for this item that is in neat condition it is perfect i think at least he assured me multiple times that he is perfect but judging from the box that i will show you in some moments he was right so Top feedback to that seller. The building in question, guys, let me get up, is from Carroll Town Collection and it is the Tuscany Bell Tower. And this came with an adapter, an AC adapter. Look at the outside box, guys. It is practically new, not a scratch, not even uh, some damages from the time. This is Tuscany Bell Tower 2003 Lemax Incorporated. The only problem of the box is it is missing uh, the little piece that uh, closed the box, but 20. 22 years, almost 22 years ago, someone bought this and it is in absolutely wonderful collection, uh, wonderful uh, conditions. Carroll Town Collection, it is uh, a collection way before uh, Caddington, way before... Um, Santa's Wonderland way before every new collection. The, the, those were pure porcelain, okay? They were pure porcelain. And it has a clock working, I hope. 
it has movements because the bell moves and it has also movement for with the monks that are ringing the bells pulling on the ropes of this wonderful piece and it has also sounds so it is a complete absolutely complete item from Lemax Lemax incorporated uh, Picot Way, Canton, Massachusetts made in China uh, and it was very different at the time the packaging uh, UL approved adapter included can also use two, two AA 1.5 volt batteries batteries not included bell kinds on the hour and quarter hour okay good to know I didn't remember that so the bell the bell comes on the hour and on a quarter hour and alarm feature included with bell kinds okay also you can set the alarm and the alarm will sound with some kinds I think okay volume wow volume control on and off a switch for a function monks perform their duties by ringing the bell so it was one of the most complete item it is the equivalent of uh, sight and sounds items for nowadays collections and it is a rare item guys i assure you that it is a, they they didn't sell it in many 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 pieces but i don't know why because maybe because it's not a pure um, uh, Carol Town design it's not a pure uh, Christmas Carol <laughs> design but it is more Italian design with friezes with bells with towers around the towers but nowadays this is how good was the design from Limax Lemax I don't know how to call it let's open it and check if it is good inside as it is outside okay so the styrofoam inside is in good condition and it is from a time where Lemax didn't use the uh, the band uh, the elastic band to uh, facilitate the extraction of the item from the box but there is always a way to do it inside nothing inside guys mm -hmm. uh, okay the Lemax item was marked there on the bottom Lemax item 35808 okay some some glue here Ooh. okay ah yeah the notice is inside okay the notice is inside adapter and uh, every setting for the alarm clock and the, the batteries the two AA batteries can be inserted from the bottom okay and the notice was in english and in french okay not divided but uh, english french english french each point is english french different for from nowadays where the english is together on a section than the other languages but normally this is okay these add different um, adapters uh, c adapter for every country so c6079 6079 for us and canada okay the notice then wow and this is from 2003 so 
it is and made and and painted let's get with the adapter I will I cannot use this adapter in Italy simply because this is a, a US adapter let me check if the voltage let me change my glasses and the output is 3 volt 300 milliamps and the input is 120 volt only so this is the old version of the adapters where they weren't 120, 20, 20, 220 volts but each country has their proper uh, adapter and also the plug guys uh, this is not a standard plug I maybe have a problem here because nowadays those are considered old uh, sound connector this was a 3.5 millimeters jack that was used for um, uh, for uh, amplifiers for music etc and certainly not for uh, powering some items so big problem but I can recycle this but I don't want to damage this original AC adapter okay let me check how I can remove this without damaging anything okay I found the correct spot and guys oops this is not oops sorry for the camera so there is some glue spill there but i don't think this is due to the owner of this but i think this is due to the production 20 years ago they were like that no damage a little discoloration here and you can see that here the roof is a little bending down but this is normal for something and made 20 years ago uh, this is for the adapter caution okay and uh, so uh, the front here some vines there I, I don't want to make a full review or full unboxing of this because this is not new but I don't know how many out there knows this item I repeat that this is the Tuscany bell tower someone call it differently but this is the Tuscany bell tower uh, a little bird, a yellow bird, some, uh, some flowers etc here some pots, some terracotta pots, the two monks there, two monks there, okay, as it was the bell here, no damage here, everything, everything is in good condition, yes, a little discoloration here on the board, on the corner, and here the plug for the AC adapter, and And here you can see that after so many years the the glue they use it and I think this is uh, hot glue hot gun glue and tends to to get to get yellowish to decolorate here the space for the two AA batteries no oxidation, no acid as a spill, so it is good. Uh, like that, the on off switch, DC in 3 volt, Lamax 2003. 2003. So, guys, this is in excellent condition. I can't believe it more than excellent condition the owner was the perfect owner of this item 
So volume here to adjust the volume, alarm set here, uh, clock set, alarm on off, times uh, 15 minutes on off, times hour on off. So you can use it very silently or, or loud. Okay, I wanted to test it and let me try to find a solution because I can't use this one. I should use uh, uh, an adapter, no a voltage adapter, no. I can certainly manage something quickly. And yes, the two monks moves. Okay, and uh, mm, it's simply a matter of uh, providing three volts in this plug here. Uh, uh, let, 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 me, let, let me try to find uh, something. Okay guys, the quickest solution, it's not the perfect solution, but I always keep uh, wires and the plugs from the ancient times and the quickest solution I found, it is not a 90 degrees, but I need to buy some of these if I can still find them somewhere but it is straight and not at 90 degrees and it is almost the same, maybe a little bigger, but I think it can f function. Then I provided a female plug for the AC adapter. Let me try. Let me try. Let's put this on off, I think. And let's have Uh, a plug here like that and then wow 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 <laughs> so I switched it on on instead of off let me go from the front here so you have some LED some yellowish LED I don't think I will change it because it is original and it doesn't bother me if it is orange and not making too 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 much power it doesn't make too much light so let's go with the quarter And I don't know if you can see, guys, but the monks are moving. Okay. Good. Uh, the monks are moving, guys, uh, but if I uh, leave them horizontal like that, they don't move, especially the one on the back. It needs to go perfectly vertical. And the two monks are moving, the bell is moving. The bell is moving so to each quarter of time and then and this is the hour. So different sounds. Tan, 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 tan. Okay. So guys, different times for the quarter than for the hours, okay? Now, let me set, let me set the alarm. And here is even a third type of sound. 
This is the alarm. The monks are moving. Both of them. So guys, no problem at all. Maybe you are you don't agree with me, but this is top design and guys it's pure porcelain is 100% porcelain 100% handmade because the the bandings and uh, demonstrate it and but guys one of the rarest item from Lamax if you can acquire such item Whenever you can do it, especially if it works, sometimes uh, I come across uh, the, some uh, of these items here that were defective, maybe without sound or without uh, the chimes, but just with the bells moving, they are like that because the mechanism and everything has tend to deteriorate during the years. But this one, guys. Wow, it's almost like it was, it, it came out from the factory yesterday, guys. And I'm happy. Well, enough. Let's continue with something else. Let's have an update on the second uh, team at the section that it is uh, known right now. But those are some items I will be using, not all of them. A selection of them. Uh, in part 9 I've shown you how to get some rust on some iron based item and I've put those items in a bath of uh, hydrogen peroxide and salt uh, after having them a couple of hours in some acid vinegar uh, to try to um, start the damaging of the surface. Result are, the results are uh, uneven. So with a, uh, with a spring like this one that is pure uh, metal, that is a pure iron, you can see mm -hmm. that the effect is astonishing. It is, comp uh, this was a plain black last uh, six days ago and the action of this method is as created. Yes, some is some salt, okay, also salt, but the rest is the action of the that of uh, hydrogen peroxide and the salt on the iron based metal and i hope you can see how the rust has started to get there and guys it doesn't fall fall down but i will prevent everything and on this spring look at the at the different uh, different stages of the rust that he has started attacking the method. These are completely aged and I will place it. This is different. The bells here guys and you can appreciate that it is almost white the on top of it because this is the salt that was in the mix of peroxide and salt. The bells were covered with a layer of chrome, chroming some iron-based uh, parts, some iron-based uh, components, makes them rust-free, makes them proof, um, rust-proof. Okay, so that's why it is almost. Uh, a uh, deposit of salt and it can be removed and uh, just a minimum part you can see that it will lo lose everything and uh, only where the bell started to lose some uh, chrome um, layer the 
rust attacked on the bell. Yes, pure smell. I'm smelling oxide, uh, iron oxide. Inside was different because uh, due to the fact that the hammer uh, was inside in this uh, uh, alarm clock here, the, uh, the hammer was not uh, outside but was inside and inside the chrome was less present so it has attacked more in the, uh, the bell. I don't think I will use this because it is not too much damaged by the rust but it can get there and this one too it is simply the salt deposit it's not uh, the rust the real rust needs to be not removable and brownish like this one but the chrome i had to uh, leave these pieces there in uh, acid bath but much more corrosive than simple vinegar to get a decent result same thing for the handle it has a chrome surface protecting the iron so no good enough spring this other spring was not covered by anything so the rust attacked perfectly and uh, leaving this outside uh, it will continue to attack because uh, during the night um, fortunately the uh, heat uh, months has gone and now in september nights get a little humid outside at least in Italy and humidity and in the morning this is completely humid and the rest will continue attacking the, the spring. Uh, all the spring are in the same condition. These two it is uh, deeply attacked by, by the rust. Uh, some salt yes but the rest it's not removable and it is uh, it is the rust. This is not removable guys and the rust is there and my hands also are uh, rust. This is the same thing. The part that was absent from chrome has been attacked, the rest no. Then this big gear here uh, that has another piece attached to it has completely been attacked by rust guys. The, the cog here was much more black than the one you see there but here it has been attacked by the rust and it will continue to be attacked by the rust and by humidity. This has reached a good aspect. I, I love how these come, the outcome of the cog there. Then some other pieces are in the same condition that you can see that it has been attacked by the rest of some other uh, cogs also and enough uh, okay now I will get this and I will spray I will spray some acrylic transparent but matte okay Transparent but matte. I don't want this to be shiny, so once dried, it will be uh, matte. But like this and then during the week I will turn everything upside down and do the same thing from the other side. This will freeze the state of each item at this point here. Good. Like that. <coughs> wow. Uh, impressive fumes. I will have an update with you in the next days, in the next parts, when I will be using uh, these items here. This one has not been protected. Okay, like that. So I will update 
uh, you on this sooner or later. During part 9 I did these uh, uh, I've here, these uh, vines here, using this product here from the Spanish company I told you about. But is it possible to achieve a similar result with another method, with another technique, if you don't want to acquire that product there that, by the way, it is very effective as you can see. Maybe there is. Uh, here I have the fences that I will use there. Then uh, if you have a natural rope, this is natural rope, guys, it is you can buy it on every marketplace and on every hardware store. Not a synthetic, but natural rope. Each natural rope, it is composed by some, uh, some braids. And if I take one of the braids, uh, you simply need to undo the, the rope there. And if you can get the tiniest possible, this one is the pure core of a braid, then I will use I will use the glue, the spray glue, the permanent spray glue you have seen me using. And oops, I will spray on every part like that and I will then get some of the spices I've used and then go like that and then go like that and the first it is not enough then I will go once again with some spray glue and this time I will change the foliage color I will use some parsley the first one was oregano, oregano. This one is parsley. That is more green. Okay, like this. Then you simply need to go <coughs> with some glue on the fancy and cut where you don't have a good uh, vines or ivy and then Get in on top of the fences like like that, okay, and it will stick immediately with these permanent spray glue, different colors of the vines. Let me try another uh, another time, okay. and glue like this I will cut off where I have my fingers and then
goes there. Goes there and maybe a little more. like that and obviously if you aren't satisfied you can reposition everything like that and even with the rope there with this kind of rope you can you can achieve so if you don't want to use this product here you can go with uh, with a simple rope and uh, and uh, the glue but the glue is <laughs> mandatory and this type of glue uh, it's very effective and you can achieve a not too bad result even in these in this case here you simply remove the excess of uh, foliage if you have an excess of uh, of leaves but they are the spices of the right uh, dimension as a real um, a real leaf a real ivy or vine uh, leaf uh, would have so it can get a good result so this is exaggerated so different colors i went with oregano that is more um, oregano in italian uh, you write it oregano with an e and not an i but uh, oregano there and then uh, parsley here because parsley is more green oregano is more um, grayish as you can see but uh, if you have this mix here you can use it once again uh, this stair here is far from being completed guys it is time i start doing something with this stair because i soon i will soon need to to paint it because like this it is unwatchable and right now I'm aging the steps with some irregular little stone that I have collected during the years. And it is way better than using the uh, tin foil technique because the tin foil tend to tend to uh, flatten uh, at some point the rock no and then i will take my lapis and if you are wondering why i always use lapis instead of a standard a normal pencils is because it is way more endable a little lapis than having something that is uh, extremely long that prevents you for from turning wherever you want but this one is tiny and it can be used now i will get some uh, design there
Let's continue. Guys, you already know Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca's figurine and Rebecca's house, etc. I'm still missing the stuff, the walking stick, the glowing walking stick or walking stuff. Okay, but Rebecca's is only uh, seven centimeters tall. Seven centimeters tall. That means that the walking staff, the walking stick needs to be of a certain eight maximum uh, two third of uh, eight. Otherwise, it will be too tall. And if I want a light inside, you need to think, I need to think about every dimension, the ends, the eyes, and the lights. If I want a light, if I want a glowing stick, it means that I want a light, I want an LED somewhere. Those are standard LEDs size, guys. Five millimeters in diameter LEDs. This LED is bigger than Rebecca's head. So having a staff getting this inside mm -mm, can be achieved, guys. That's why I had so many difficulties to find the right solution. Because standard LEDs comes in standard sizes. This is a 5 millimeters. They exist in 3 millimeters. Then they exist in 1.8 millimeters. I will show you the difference, hoping that you can see the difference between oops and uh, I don't know 1.8 millimeters, five millimeters. Okay, they are there. Okay, five millimeters against 1.8 millimeters. And this little one here, I've used it for my blue roofed houses in, in, uh, inside the lanterns. But it is still too big, guys. Look, almost bigger than a hand. Then Rebecca and half is fa her face. Okay, too big. And this needs to be inside something. So this needs to be, it, it, it certainly needs to be small than something containing it. So my difficulties started there. And those, uh, uh, LEDs, uh, let me get an AC adapter, and those LEDs works without problem. Yellow it will be negative, red will be positive, I will go with positive leg, it is the longest one as usual. And then the shortest one will be the negative, like that. And switch it on. And it's switched on. Good, the theory is there. So why I'm complaining? Because this is too big. So I needed to dig and to find some other LEDs. You won't believe it, but here I have some LEDs. 
those are standard LEDs those are SMD SMD LEDs <laughs> they are meant to be used in some very tiny little microscopic circuits and uh, those ones are already cabled because it is done inside the factory simply because the head of the LED is so tiny, so microscopic one millimeter by one millimeter that is almost impossible to work with our hands yes, I can solder something to the wires but not the wire to the LED so it, they need to be done with a micro, microscope <coughs> in particular conditions uh, if you want to do it by hands or in the, in the factory when they are produced here I have some green here I have some blau here I have some uh, vice and here I am so, no, vice here so this should be um, pink slash purple so uh, green green, blau blue uh, pink purple okay and vice is white uh, I've tested them I cannot deny it and I decided to go with the one that will be much more diffused once I've uh, once it will be assembled uh, let me test with uh, with this one guys that is oops like that okay and I will place them I don't think you have already seen the LED because it's really 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 some of the tiniest thing I've ever seen I will try because I don't know if I will be able to show it but red wire and the wires too are so microscopic almost invisible a uh, not even a quarter of a millimeter and I will try to show you the LED that it is the tiniest thing I have ever seen here on the on the tip of the two wires it is really microscopic imagine that those square are one centimeters by one centimeters it means 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters so these little white dot there there it is the LED you don't believe it let me get some power to it and you will see that they are LEDs red is positive uh, like they are so tiny these wires and the blue is negative there and those are all 3 volts LEDs and when I will switch this off you have already seen that wow so tiny 
that I lost it. The wire is covered by some particular plastic that needs to be burned to be stripped. The wire needed to be stripped like that, otherwise it will not be stripped. And it is done intentionally because this is a very tiny wire. <laughs> not even the crocodile there, this like that so I need to be drastic if I want to show you the LED but you have already seen it I need to prevent the two wires to slip away so like that and now they will not fall off so you are seeing the green LED that is there. I will use a blue one because it tends to be diffused more. Positive and negative guys and this is the blue one you are seeing right now okay maybe i will not get up but i will approach a little more the camera i have reduced the space to work like that but at least you will see everything i am doing so blue one and the guys, I had to model a stuff that, he, that has this form here, this design here, and you are seeing it because I'm closer with the camera, and cut it in half because I want the wire in the middle. And compare that to Rebecca's height. And let's say like that. It is almost at the height, at this height here. So <coughs> a little up uh, of her waist, okay? but it isn't enough and i had to model this in such a tiny dimension this would be plain wood so i need then to paint it uh, after i have assembled it and uh, i needed something to diffuse the light so i needed i needed a gemstone to be placed like that, guys, uh, the other way. Like that, now it is only half. And with this gemstone there, if I place inside the LEDs, Like that, it will diffuse more the light, like that. Okay. Wow. So, this is the gemstone, this is the, uh, the LED. Everything is there. But the light, the LED is not glowing i know so what i did you remember that last season i had uh, the sea light at the arbor i made a circuit like this one that i've 
replicated uh, for this version that it is composed by an IC555 integrated circuit that is the timer it is integrated so you don't need to program then a capacitor uh, three a couple of resistor and a transistor uh, <coughs> the IC will charge the capacitor at intervals then the capacitor through the uh, transistor will discharge towards the L E D. What those means that uh, and if you wanted to see how I soldered this and how to build this, I will put a link down below in the description to my last season uh, part one or part two, I think, where I build a similar um, a similar uh, circuit. Uh, it is intended to be not on some uh, PCB because this could be on some PCB but if I place it on some PCB it will be not hideable somewhere but I need it to be hidden somewhere. So this will work as a timer. Ploof, ploof. Let me try at least to connect these uh, to connect these somehow to the AC adapter and if the LED works at uh, 3 volts these circuits works at 9 volts because it needs to charge and charge and discharge the capacitor so I will switch the AC adapter to 9 uh, volts and then I will try to connect this one. The entry is there and the output is red is positive. The okay, so input there, it goes into the circuit. The circuit gets outs with positive and outs with negative, and it will go into the uh, LED and the LED goes inside the, the gemstone then I will provide with and you see that it are charged, it is discharging then it will fade out then it will fade in then it will fade out once again I didn't want this to be uh, stroboscopic too uh, quick otherwise it's not like how magic works it works slowly slowly not that quickly and this is the glowing effect I was talking about so now that you have a close view of everything I will try I will try to assemble this before painting it.
it is glowing perfectly. I need to paint this brown, I think, two layers of brown before everything, uh, some primer, obviously. And then I will paint the wood brown and nothing on the jewel. Final recap of part 10 of the 2024 series and I am starting as you can see from Rebecca's, her house, her tree and her a glowing walking stick or glowing stuff. Let me approach a little more the stuff guys. Now it is painted and it is glowing as you can see. It glows from one side and also from the other side. I painted it brown and then uh, dark brown and then one more layer of uh, light brown and you can see the effect of the uh, globe that is like uh, animating the light when it fade out that's the effect of these LEDs, they are blue and it is disappearing now it will appear and then project the lights up until there uh, I will hide the wire in some days but 
everything was needed. No, I still miss an old wise owl there, but I don't know where to place it. I will uh, think about that. I also placed a little park bench, but this is too common for Rebecca. I will surely add a park bench, a bench, and maybe also a table, but I will model something completely different for her. Uh, if you want to take a look in plain at night, I will try to place the camera closer to her, like that, and I will switch all the light off. And guys, this is the effect in plain night, with a good camera, of course. <laughs> This is a Sony with a sensor, with an amazing sensor, so you can also appreciate Rebecca and part of her house. But this is the effect, I can also get a little back again, and the range of that LED, even in plain night, is amazing and each time she casts a spell her stuff glows like that that's why i choose blue guys because it is the most intense light in plain night green yes but you have a you have a seen the result of the um first uh, timid section of uh, um, alice in wonderland uh, rock band that the blue light is the most effective one. Green also, but not that much. The range is much more wide with a blue light like that. And I will get light once again, like that. I will take once again the camera with me. Okay, let's continue. I have a place uh, the, the uh, school here, guys, but with Lemax it is always difficult to try to find a correct spot for each and single one of the buildings because Lemax uh, has developed their buildings to be used only from one side, this one. So it's like to have uh, to place every buildings each time on the same line as if it, wa it was a shelf come on Lemax <laughs> you hate me already but you can do that buildings need to be used from different sides I think I sincerely think that no one of the actual artists that are sculpting buildings for Lemax is actually involved in uh, villaging in Christmas villaging it's uh, my opinion but I don't think it is only an opinion I, I doubt that uh, <laughs> the artists they use are involved in making their proper Christmas villages each season otherwise this error would never have, have been done at least uh, this building can be used one season from this side another season from this side and you can have life with a bench people can sit on the bench this idea people can just take a look uh, to the uh, window so three sides out of four can be used when i model something rebecca's house also three sides can be used as main side this one just one because this idea mm, uh, useless because uh, uh, you don't have anything and I'm missing a three there uh, I think uh, I need to reglue uh, the three but first I will need to find it uh, but right now I haven't found it okay so I'm missing a tree uh, another tree like this one and and then from this side guys the uh, the stairs i've uh, i've uh, sculpted the stones there 
because I wanted something irregular for the uh, for the stairs and uh, once uh, uh, painted it will change completely his aspect then guys a little surprise there a last minute surprise that a a patio when uh, I think uh, two parts ago I placed these stairs here I had two spots one from the right and one from the left and uh, it's not uh, suitable for a building there too small so I tried to go with something different and uh, <laughs> this is modeled during the past week I think I started modeling it Wednesday and Thursday then Friday it went uh, on the two printers because this is uh, two pieces okay so this took uh, two hours and 22 minutes to print and the back it took uh, uh, 14 hours and 58 minutes to 3d print okay so uh, it is usable uh, in plain summer without a roof and uh, during the winter with the roof that is uh, wood but also has uh, some ivy some vines on top of it i used the um, the edges i modeled the last season but i have modified uh, a little because I always try to improve my models using some uh, some trees there uh, on each side but those are the uh, curved uh, uh, edges I modeled for for last season and here I have a tree but I can have it so in plain middle the uh, irregular stones that that's why I also added the irregular stones on the stairs then rounded there and then some circular uh, cobblestones there it, it is just uh, 3d printed primed and black washed i had time to to also paint it um, to paint it for uh, this part uh, then i think that next week i will concentrate my effort on this part here and then something else but a little surprise for you so create creating some scenes is not just placing some houses there but it is also trying to find the correct props to add around the building that's why this section here the left the left side uh, will not have plenty of buildings one there one here uh, some props or some stalls there then a couple of buildings there something in the back here i will elevate this section for next time but elevating is nothing i will do it off camera guys it's simply a matter of adding some styrofoam and i still need to hide the wires and the circuit that uh, allow the stuff to glow or the walking stick sorry uh, but here nothing has changed but this is I think a good addition the patio there a, a little last minute surprise for you guys and don't tell anyone I did it for you guys then here guys uh, I have uh, Alice in Wonderland band there then the second section the second team section will be here guys I want the river to separate the two section and i will try to concentrate my work up until there because i don't want the rest and maybe i will go like this because i don't want that i don't want that this section um to hide the rebecca's house or the rebecca's tree but this is the only huge spot left where i could place this because I want this uh, section here and this one as close as possible to the uh, first camera rolling okay as much as po as closer to the main view all needs to be main view but I want it there to be this is uh, uh, pure fun craziness uh, something strange different this will be the opposite and i won't tell anything 
more about it. So nothing has changed. Yes, I also added some uh, some park benches because Alice in Wonderland Band need an audience, and so this is the only way I could have. But I am not sure uh, of the uh, of these uh, park benches, as I'm not sure, as I told you, f uh, with the uh, Rebecca's park bench there. But it is just a reminder for me that I need to try some other solution. Then I moved the big blue mansion back there, but also it will need to get an elevation there. And it will be part of uh, a team at section later in the season very later in the season then the pop i should have used it like that guys because this depth here is less than uh, the width there and it is taking so much but the good looking face is this one but i should really have used it like that to have much more space but then <laughs> It, it, it is losing all is good aspect because this idea with a chimney and this idea yes a little more interesting this idea with a, a secondary entry there but for the moment it goes there guys then I place uh, the Lucy's chocolate shop there okay Lucy's chocolate shop because it is a small building and it is not preventing the camera or the viewer to get access to the plaza to the uh, important section there normally in real life you can't have something completely free of buildings in front of it <laughs> not even yes uh, Theory, in theory, yes, uh, for monuments like uh, Colosseum, like uh, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, like uh, St. Peter's Square uh, in uh, Vatican City. Okay, but guys, those are huge, st <laughs> uh, huge places. I can have it in a small Christmas village like that. This completely free or with some just some props there. Another building there, and then you can always see that there are stairs. And if oh, I have something blue behind, let's get there and let's get up the stairs. And blah blah. Okay, so here too, I added some. Uh, uh, some park benches Okay, and Mac is Is uh, taking a watch to to I don't know where okay guys So now guys, let me place the camera there because finally you can see that I have The carriage, but I need to, to talk about it Okay so this is the carriage guys that i forgot to show you in during part nine but guys the wheels are taller the wheels are taller than mac the carriage itself if placed it like this it is wider and taller than the French patisserie, not usable guys. It is good looking, yes, but that's uh, also Mac, it can stand inside. A big error there to, um, to have a 3D printed it at 100% at the same um, scale I've uh, modeled it. Uh, everyone guessed what carriage this is and that the important section is the middle section this section here but it is too huge guys I cannot use it so oh, Sunday night or maybe Monday night no yes Monday night 
I placed it there and then I thought mm -mm, no something is uh, wrong the scale is gigantic so what I did I tried to some other things I tried to 3d print in different scale the important part is the middle so I printed at 60% but guys the middle section is too small uh, Mac will not be able to stand inside inside it at least it needs to be to be used like that and it is too narrow then I also 3d printed at 70% just the middle part not everything just the middle part and I thought better yes but Mac can stand all not yet cannot stand inside it and but it is better than 100 60 70 I had only left 80% and 90% luckily for me I think that 80% is the correct dimension for the car edge guys Mac is not shorter than the wheels Mac can stand inside the middle section uh, the owner of the carriage will be able to stand also in uh, in there even with high heels <laughs> even with high heels and Mac is not wearing any boots so it is not uh, I keep it with high heels in not uh, using high heels so 60 out 70 out 100% out guys and uh, in a snap this will become the new 100% carriage it is still huge but I can't go under there under that dimension because I need the middle section to be usable I need it to be usable so this will be the new carriage and it is like the other one it can turns and uh, the wheels are perfectly rolling okay I just redimensioned everything to 80% but now Mac it is 100% then I will get with me the camera okay then I place uh, the French patisserie and Nora's Christmas boutique there. Last time a good looking, uh, last time I've seen a very good looking building from Lemax. 2018, if I remember correctly, yes, 2018. Last time we are in 2024, okay, six years ago to have a good porcelain building from Lemax six years ago then a little mistake from Lemax the cupcakes mm -mm, are not a, a French bakery special speciality okay in France we don't use, yes nowadays yes but at the time uh, of Caddington village because this is from Caddington Village and guys this is from 2017 so 2017 uh, Lemax was still producing good-looking uh, buildings 2018 also then okay we all know what happened in 2019 but guys it's not a reason for not making good-looking buildings after yes my mistake the norman rockwell collection is top-notch is amazing is so beautiful 
but very 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 expensive you pay the design you pay the brand the norman rockwell but those buildings are perfect but they are not uh modeled by a uh, lamax artist a lamax designer <laughs> they have just been copied from uh, one of the most famous paintings of Norman Rockwell. So, once again, Lemax, come on, let's start doing some good looking <laughs> buildings once again. Then here I have the church. Uh, I have placed it like that because a church is always visible with the crosses there and the Christmas tree at least this idea as a Christmas tree so it is usable but I should have placed it like that but it is taking too much space then this piece here I still don't know where it comes from so I will leave it right there Bistro guys in French Bistro ends with a T. La Belle Vie is correct, but two times Bistro needs a T at the end. Then everything there is almost correct, etc. And this is, I have not condemned this side here that will be used by the carriage to go there, and it is in front of the ramp there. But uh, Karya just can use it and it is visible the ramp for from this side and the point of view in plain middle of every building Is not preventing anything to be seen. Okay, so that's uh, How I went with one two three four five six seven buildings from Lamax the school the pub Lucy's chocolate shop, then French patisserie, Norm, uh, um, Nora's Christmas boutique, the church, the United Up Church, and La Belle Vie French uh, uh, bistro. Yes, one more there, but this one is from old ages, guys. It is from 2005, and at that time every building was top-notch you have seen during this part and then also what i received the uh, toscany bell tower but i will not add it right now i don't think i will add it in this 2024 village but right now i don't know but it is not present here so recap one building two building there the school uh, three buildings, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight buildings, then nine buildings from Lamax. Okay, and one building from Silvio, two buildings from Silvio, three buildings from Silvio, four buildings from Silvio, and another props, small building from who? myself okay guys then this is not a building etc then i forgot yes the new building there the green one that as you have seen it has come on uh, design with the blue mansion as i told you but if the blue mansion had completely metal roof uh, this one has uh, rounded roof tiles as i already told you and for now it will be there i don't know if it will be the final spot but what i modeled takes so huge space but not that much it is in line with the dimension of the french patisserie my building so almost the same uh, design and the scale is the same guys i try to go with the same scale for every building i made i think that's all guys have i forgot something 
I don't think so. I've told you everything I did. You have seen me. Yes, the the vines, guys. The other type of vines I've used with the other technique. Or uh, here they are on the on the left side here. But it is usable even this technique with the uh, spices as foliage and rope as base for the for the ivy for the vines. And uh, that's all. That's really all for this part. Can see you for the outro, guys. I don't know what to answer, Mac. It's not my carriage. You know who is the owner. You need to ask to her if you want to use it. Come on. You know it. <laughs> 2017. This is how good was Lemax in 2017. Still good Lemax. 2018. 2005 for the bookstore, 2003 for the ballroom palace, and also 2003 for the Tuscany Bell Tower. After 20 years, this is in perfect condition. Very honest seller, very good owner. Even the package was in top notch conditions. So and this is one of the rarest items from Lemax, as I told you. Produced from 2003 to 2005, just two years. That's why it is so rare. It has been on the market only for two years. And at that time, it wasn't appreciated because this, that building is very far from the standard of... Uh, um, um, Christmas Carol village from Charles Dickens villages, etc. But nowadays, mm, this is, that building is very, very precious as the ballroom palace there. Now it is starting to get an aspect of a real Christmas village with uh, those uh, buildings. Much more from me will come also with some props. Sorry for the last minute surprise, but I wanted to do that. And then four more mandatory buildings from, no, a little more because mandatory buildings are four and I need to find them. Uh, and then the North Pole section, the Santa's Wonderland section is also mandatory. So I will try to accommodate all the rest of the buildings. Certainly not all my collection will be present on this layout. Rebecca's staff is complete. The section e is almost complete. Just the hole and then some, uh, some grass, some, something, uh, some little props. But I will not model anything else because I already have the hole. I haven't 3D printed it, but I have already modeled the wise old hole. But I don't know where to place it. Let me know if uh, the stuff, the walking stick, the glowing walking stick or glowing stuff is well suited for uh, mm, Rebecca's. Maybe not the blue, but I have explained to you why I used the blue glowing effect, the blue micro LED. Uh, much more still need to be done but not with this part 10. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing you know what my awful English and uh, see you for part 11. But yes, you are right. Only if you really want. Bye, guys.